Hello, so many guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another Jordan's video. Urdan in Urdu, we call it Urdan, and in English, it is Jordan. So let's read the title of this Jordan's video. So it is Jordan, my love. What a man is really like. So how a man city looks like. So if you guys are new on the channel, please make sure to give a like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. And without wasting any more time. Let's watch now. This is the place where I always wanted to come. Okay. She had a dream to come to Jordan. This time we are in Jordan, okay. in the Middle East. Middle East. Amman is the capital of Jordan. It incorporates okay, a it's a capital, of Amman. four million, right. making it also Amman or the Amman. largest city of Jordan. Okay, it's for free. Wow. It's the old section of the city, being originally inhabited around 6500 BC. Downtown Amman is made up of countless souk markets and small independent businesses. The long history leaves a large number of historical sites, such as the Amman Citadel. The Amman Citadel is a historical site at the center of downtown Amman. And it's also one of the most visited places by tourists. Okay. Okay. That's exactly what I was Eight telling you about. Increase in was tourism. By different peoples and cultures, and it's considered to be among the world's oldest continuously inhabited places. Yeah, no doubt. The Temple of Hercules is thought to be the most significant Roman structure in the city Yeah, yeah. Most of the buildings that are still that was the time when Muslims defeated the Roman, Roman Empire. Time empire. And periods. Even though Amman has long history, okay. having the earliest evidence of settlement from 7250 BC. Nowadays, it's considered to be one of the most modernized Arab cities. It has become one of the most popular destinations for Western expatriates who seek to live, work, or study in the Middle East. The most important areas in the city are named after the hills, in Arabic called Jabal, yeah. or the valleys Jabal is mountain. called Badi. Amman was or initially Wadi, built on Urdu. seven hills, but now spans over 19 hills. Yeah, there are enemies on the Jebel, enemies ahead. After being designated as Jordan's capital in 1921, Amman has had a rapid growth. Jordan has been receiving refugees for the last century and has become a new home for many Palestinians, yeah. Iraqis and, and Syrians. Syrians. Because of its geographical location, People often think that Jordan is not very stable and safe, but after everything that I have seen in Jordan, I say it will be hard to meet more pacific and nicer people than the Jordanians. Jordanians. Jordan is one of the most welcoming places I have ever seen, and Jordanians are very proud of their hospitality. Wow. The most famous suite in Jordan is Kunafa. It's Kunafa. A I love Kunafa. For all the people who is the man to eat this traditional Arab dessert, it's made with fine Somalian adults, served wow. in sweet sugar based syrup and laid with soft cheese. Amman's increasing nightlife scene is shaped by Jordan's young population. It's very easy to find many nightclubs, music bars, and shisha lunches, which are changing the city's old image as the conservative capital. I was also that is a bit sad part. Amman has become one of the most it's an Islamic country, so these the things Arab should world. be, you know. All right, it's about to over. Alright, 
so the video is over and that was by Maggie so Maggie is the name of the, this vlogger alright guys so uh, it, it was a beautiful uh, video because uh, I came to know that Amman is the capital of Jordan I didn't knew that I didn't know that before uh, but uh, now I come to know and uh, we saw some beautiful uh, some delicious uh, dishes in this video and uh, my mouth was watery uh, while I was watching them and uh, as you were saying people were very hospitable very nice and uh, um, the city is growing rapidly so there is so much you know population right now and uh, it's uh, this city is home of uh, so many refugees from Palestine, from Palestine, Iraq and uh, Syria, okay, which is Sham actually in Urdu we call it Sham. I don't know uh, is it uh, uh, same in Arabic? Maybe it is uh, came from Arabic. So as you know Urdu language is mixture of uh, Arabic, uh, Hindi uh, and uh, Persians and uh, some Turkish words. So these all languages we uh, you know picked a few words from these languages and made a new a beautiful language Urdu language which is Pakistan's national language so uh, let's uh, move towards Jordan again so and uh, it's a beautiful thing that they are hosting so many refugees uh, in their uh, in their capital especially in their capital and uh, uh, the ending part where she was saying that there are so many clubs and shishas and which is you know uh, not very good for new generation because uh, uh, it has so many so many disadvantages than advantage I don't think so these things have some advantages uh, it's uh, you know some people do these kind of things for just temporary change so temporary things uh, you know it uh, doesn't change anything you have to uh, you know accept the ground reality and uh, ground reality is focus towards your Lord so who made you uh, so ask him in any kind of situation if you are sad if you are happy if you want to do that if you want to do other things so do according to your Lord so that was my reaction if you guys enjoyed it please make sure to give a like subscribe and press the bell icon and that's it for today see you next video till then goodbye have a great day